So the first selection uh, is called Kirkpatrick Fanfare by Andrew Boyson Jr. It has uh, some really neat figures that gives us an opportunity to show off our brass, but also kind of showcase what this concert's about tonight, and that's uh, paying tribute to our Ireland semester. One of the things that makes our university uh, unique is uh, each fall we have a specific uh, uh, tribute to a country, and and this semester we are paying tribute to Ireland, and there have been a number of events throughout the course of the semester, uh, from food to music to all kinds of stuff, uh, movies and more, lectures, learning about their country and and learning about all of the uh, all of their ways, and this is an opportunity for us to uh, show the kind of uh, music that uh, Ireland has or, or, or music that uh, is portrayed through some of their traditions and music that is written uh, kind of for uh, that uh, part of the part of the world. The next selection we're going to do is absolutely one of my favorites. Uh, it is by Percy Granger, one of my favorite band composers, uh, and this is Irish Tune for County Derry.
So one of the neat things about being the conductor of this ensemble is they give you a microphone, which is great, because I get to like say things and there's enough distance here that I can get out what I want to say before I get tackled or whatever. So where's David? Are you nervous yet? Where's David Charlo? I would like to uh, allow our awesome concert band to sing happy birthday to one of our favorite people in the entire world, Mr. Oglesby. He's our assistant band director. So Mr. Oglesby, would you please stand? Thank you. Stand. Thank you. Yeah. And happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mr. Oglesby. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. You're, you're never going to play a concert with us again, are you? No, probably not. All right. It was worth it. It was worth it. Uh, the last selection we would like to do before we have our intermission, and by the way, speaking of intermission, Brass Alliance, which is our brass group here on campus, uh, they do a number of awesome things from meeting weekly and improving their brass skills to giving back to the department in multiple ways. You'll hear them throughout the concert cycles, throughout the remaining um, uh, three concert cycles that we have. Uh, but one of the things that they do is they sponsor a reception uh, during intermission. So they have some goodies outside for you guys. Couple things. One, they're not free. Please give a donation to Brass Alliance. Drop a dollar, drop a 20, whatever you've got. Um, we appreciate that. Also, um, Scott will kill me if y'all bring any food into this auditorium. So please keep the trash and all that stuff outside uh, after our next selection, please. All right, now we're going to do uh, Granger's Shepherd's Hay.
Take a brief intermission, get some goodies. We'll see you in just a second. So nothing says Ireland and John F. 
I'm kidding. John Philip Sousa is America's most famous march composer, and I was trying to find something we could fit into the program. Sometimes you find pieces that were either written for the specific whatever it is that you're doing, or maybe something that would kind of go with the theme. The name um, of the piece is called Hands Across the Sea. So I think if you'll allow us a little bit of leeway, this certainly fits our program. Uh, Hands Across the Sea by John Philip Sousa. Got several thank yous before our last number. Uh, first of all, we've got several faculty members, graduate assistants, or graduate students, and a former member uh, of the ensemble, and I would like to recognize their contributions to tonight's concert. So if you would uh, stand, if you fall under that category, please. Thank you. We can't make all of this stuff happen without a very important person. Uh, Scott is an awesome human being. Uh, if there are any of our bosses out here, he deserves 
a raise. Please don't give him part of my salary, but anybody else's, that's fine. Scott does a great job. He um, comes in early. He stays late. Uh, he was here last night for a dress rehearsal, working on the video and the audio and uh, getting the, the, the stage and everything set up for us. So if you guys would help me, uh, thank Scott for all the contributions to the uh, Fine Arts Department. And then we've got great support uh, here at Southern for the arts. Uh, we're so blessed to have an administration that gets it. They understand the importance of what we do, and it's not just lip service. They do that by uh, monetary contributions. Our provost paid for the band's luncheon, for the marching band's luncheon a couple of weekends ago. Who does that? I mean, it's our, it's our provost does. But that's it's, it's, it's just one example of so many ways that, that, um, that they contribute. Um, my immediate boss, Dr. Charlo, is using funds uh, that they raised and are gonna uh, help the marching band out this Saturday along with the alumni band. So it's a collaborative effort. We really appreciate all of the support, not just uh, monetary support, but coming to the concerts and supporting everything that we do. So if you would help uh, me thank all of our administrators and administration for everything that uh, they do for our department. There are a lot of awesome things happening at Southern. And I hope you'll take the opportunity to get on our newly updated website and check out all the calendar of events. We've got lots of stuff happening. Um, we've got Coral Flourish that will always uh, be happening at the end of the, the, the semester. We've got a tour that our jazz orchestra and uh, concert um, uh, choir is gonna be going on. We've got obviously tons of stuff with the marching band going on at the different ball games and and parades, so uh, I, I hope that you'll come out and, and support none of the musical arts, but we have uh, recently added some awesome faculty members to the per performing arts, and our theater department is really cooking now. And I hope you'll come out and support them, support their, they've got guys and dolls coming up uh, this next month, or in this month, I believe, toward the end of the month, so check out the things that they're doing. Uh, the performing arts here at Southern is really strong and I'm very proud to be a part of it. Our last selection uh, is called Rusty Buckets and it is uh, composed by a really good friend of mine. I met her this past uh, year and we instantly clicked. I call her my spirit animal. I'm sure she hates that, but now that I'm saying it on the interwebs, everybody sees it and knows it. Uh, Carol Britton Chambers is just a fantastic composer. She writes for all the mediums and this is uh, a really neat piece uh, that, that is written kind of uh, in, in with, it, it's kind of like a mix of Granger and um, Ives and kind of a twist of a party of what we would do for that. So uh, I hope you enjoy uh, her uh, contributions to tonight's concert. We appreciate you coming out and look forward to seeing you at our next concert. Thank you. 
see you at the next one.